And welcome back to Who Would Win. The week of Who Would Win is pretty much wrapped up, but I will can do an extra. I'm gonna do an extra video. Hey, I'm gonna do an extra video um tomorrow and uh, Wednesday because those were birthday requested. But I'm also gonna do an extra one on Tuesday because we have three days left, so I figured I just extended that an extra day. But this comes to us from Super Mew 9001. Who asked the question, "Who wouldn't it fight the Omni Droid? The most I'm using this image, but the most powerful version of the Omni Droid from." The Incredibles versus the movie version of the Sentinels from Days of Futures Past. Um, and it's it's a catch-22 with this fight. The Omni Droid was designed to take out supers. It was just so uh, powerful that even its creator, Syndrome, really couldn't handle it. Uh, it was outfitted with a it was outfitted as a giant rope ball, so it had basically could react in an instant, and just turn and face the opponent whenever it needed to. It had six different arms for grabbing. It was extremely durable. It had multiple mounted fire uh, firearms, um, lasers, the whole sword, and was ultimately just more than any one soup could handle. It was very large in size, uh, capable of dwarfing cars and comparable to buildings in stature, extremely fast and extremely powerful. The Sentinels were designed to hunt down mutants. They were not designed to hunt down other robots. Uh, they're a lot they're humanoid in shape and design. They're nowhere near as tall as this thing, probably standing only around 20-ish feet tall, a little, a little more, a little less. Uh, they were durable, but they were made. Uh, they weren't. They were made without an ounce of metal on ounce of metal on them, like very high age space age plastics and polymers, things along those lines. Uh, they did carry firearms. They did carry the ability to fly, but they were. They were designed to be mutant killers. If a group of Sentinels came across one Omni Droid, the Omni Droid would probably slaughter them. The, the best that the Sentinels could do is hopefully keep it at bay for a little bit because their firearms and what weapons they have really wouldn't be very capable of doing much damage to the Omni Droid, in my personal opinion. They'd be able to keep it out of its way for a little bit, but they also weren't extremely fast. They, like, they're not, this isn't like. Dragon Ball Z, where you can just dodge, dodge, dodge. No, they still have to react because they're computers. So the Sentinels would probably get their teeth kicked in, honestly. They might be able to stall for a little while, but ultimately the Omni Droid would just take them out. That said, however, there is a catch-22 to this. And that's the future. <laughs> I meant to, uh, well, that didn't, that did not uh, go as planned. What I meant to do was this. Uh, and that's the future version of the Sentinels. Uh, the future version of the Sentinels were were much more upgraded. Still, did not have metal incorporated them, despite how they looked, because Magdale still couldn't do anything against them in the future. Uh, and were constantly able to adapt to whatever attack was thrown at them, because that's how they were designed or evolved at that point. They attack. They were able to. Um, Damn it, they were able to adapt to any power thrown at them. They were also much more durable than the previous generation, generation Sentinels because, as you can see from their design, they're almost made like in segments. They have like a core power and like processor, but they were designed they were designed like in fragmented segments, similar to uh, what uh, Mystique is able to do. In fact, that's how they were able to design them to some degree is by studying Mystique's blood. These Sentinels would be a lot more of a problem for the Omni Droid because while they would, while the Omni Droid could definitely still swat them around without too much difficulty, these ones were definitely a lot more humanoid, a lot more reacting, uh, reactive, I should say, uh, capable of actually dodging and thinking a bit more outside the box. Add on to the fact that yes, the Omni Droid could probably take out a couple of them at first, but if there's like a group of at least six or more. Any firearms are basically going to get just negged after a while. Any hits they take, they're eventually going to tear out the Omni Droid's uh, ability or, uh, arms or cut them off, whatever. And the Omni Droid would ultimately go down, I think, with against a group of the future Sentinels. Now, if you did a group of Omni Droids, if you made an even like matchup, let's say six on six, well, I actually think the Sentinels might win still because they the Omni Droids would probably end up crashing into each other. They're so large. Uh, and the Sentinels are such small targets by comparison that they would probably be able to figure out how to bunch them together, cause them to attack each other, and ultimately get inside and destroy the weapon, uh, destroy the creatures at hand or the machines. So in the three scenarios, a group of Sentinels versus uh, uh, the original Sentinels versus an Omni Droid, a group of the future Sentinels versus an Omni Droid, and an even to even match up of you know verses, 
Uh, it's now one on one. The Almond Joy is going to win every time he gets any of these, and that's because the one Sentinel just won't be able to adapt quickly enough to uh, be able to take down the Omni Droid. You would need at least a group of Sentinels to take down an Omni Droid, but a group of Sentinels could do it. So it's technically a pretty even out match at that point, but I am going to honestly go with the um, go with the Omni Droid, believe it or not. And it's because it really just comes down to the one-on-one -on -one confrontation. In a group, the Sentinels would ultimately win, in, but it's only the future Sentinels. One on one, even a future sentinel is not going to be able to take an Omni Droid on. Not one on one. Uh, hell, there are mutants. Despite the fact they're mutant killers, there are mutants one on one that one sentinel cannot take. It's the fact that they can just be manufactured and continue to come after it and never stop, aka Terminator style, uh, that they are able to overrun the mutant population basically. So, yeah, the Omni Droid, believe it or not, is going to take the win in this. I the way it made it sound like it sounded like it was going to be the Sentinels, but the fact is. Out of four scenarios, a uh, group of past Sentinels would lose terribly. Group of uh, group of future Sentinels would win. Even numbers, even numbers in groups, the future Sentinels I think would win. One on one, the future Sentinel would lose. And then if you gotta get technical, one on one, the past Sentinel would lose. So that's three wins for the Omni Droid. For me, I'd go the Omni Droid. Uh, I like the Sentinels more, but the uh, at least that version. So those versions of the Sentinels were really cool. Uh, the the <laughs> past versions were less cool. <laughs> let's say, uh, yeah, they had the color scheme, but man, that's not what we were hoping for. We got a better looking Sentinel out of freaking uh, the Last Stand in the Danger Room than we did there. Anyway, I digress. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you folks later.